Are you searching for a new lock style? Maybe you or someone you know has locks. Today, I'll show you how to curl your locks, specifically using pipe cleaners. You know, those fuzzy sticks you use during arts and craft in elementary school? We'll discuss how you can use these pipe cleaners to achieve a curly look. Curls are one of my favorite lock styles because they add volume to my locks. I've prepared one of the pipe cleaners so you can see an example. At the end you have a loop and then there's the rest of your pipe cleaner. I have also washed my hair and followed up the wash with an apple cider vinegar at ACV wash to rid my locks of any product or gunk that may have been stuck in my locks prior to this video. For those of you with shorter locks, you just take the pipe cleaner, take one of the ends, flip it up like so, and then twist it. And then you'll have a little pipe cleaner curl for your locks. These are the pipe cleaners I used. Fuzzy sticks. I uh, purchased a pack of a hundred. If you have shorter locks, what you can do is just take your pack and cut it in half. It doesn't matter what color pipe cleaners you use. You can use black, brown, any color. These are what just so happened to be in my supermarket, so I picked them up. So let's get started. To do a retwist, I'm using Jamaican Mango and Lime Lock Gel. Take a little bit of the product, not too much, just enough to add to my root, like so, and to be able to twist throughout my lock. So once you twist the root, you can palm roll it to secure the lock. Now that I have the root twisted and the lock twisted, I just take my lock and the pipe cleaner, okay? Take the end of your lock, put it on the pipe cleaner, twist the lock around the pipe cleaner, and then just roll. Actually, let's do something else. <laughs> Take the end of the, the lock, put it on the pipe cleaner, so there's the end of my lock. I'll take a little bit more. This way I can wrap more of the lock over the end here. So I've already wrapped it up the, the pipe cleaner and then the remainder of the lock is here. And I'll just take that and curl it over the end. This way the end will not come out. And we're just rolling up the pipe cleaner, rolling up the pipe cleaner. The tighter your lock is to each other, or the neater you curl your lock on the pipe cleaner, the better your curl will be, the tighter your curl will be. So we just roll in the lock, up the pipe cleaner, and rolling and rolling. And you see I'm getting very close to the root. So as you get close to the root, you flip the pipe cleaner over, Let's see, and twist some more. This secures the pipe cleaner in your lock. So there we have it. It's a little sloppy here. Let's see if I can fix that. So I want a tight curl, tight spiral curl. Okay. 
Okay, there we go. So the loop on the end, the lock curled up, the pipe cleaner, and we'll try the root again, close to the root. So I'll just keep twisting and twisting and then take the pipe cleaner and fold it over. I see there's still a little bit of space, so I'm just going to slide the box down the pipe cleaner. There you have it. We'll do another one. Okay, have my pipe cleaner ready. Taking a little bit of my Jamaican mango and lime locking gel just a little bit you don't need a lot of the locking gel just enough to be able to apply it to your root there's a close-up Forgot to loop the end, we'll do that real quick. So you have your pipe cleaner, fold it over, fold the end over, and then take the end of the one of the ends of the loop and then the pipe cleaner together. See that right there? Looks almost like half an infinity sign. Twist the two together. So what you'll end up with is a loop on the end, the twisted portion, and then the rest of the pipe cleaner to wrap your lock around. So just take my lock, just retwist it a little bit more. And of course, this is a lock that I intertwine, so I'll just two strand twist it before applying it to the pipe cleaner. And once you have all of your locks in the pipe cleaner, you can just leave it in for a few days to a week and then take the style out the good thing is you can just take the pipe cleaners that you have already set up for your locks and store them on the side for your next lock style. So I've got this lock twisted. At the end here there were two intertwined locks. Take the end, put it on the pipe cleaner, wrap it around the pipe cleaner. And then take my lock and wrap it over it. Then I start wrapping the lock up the pipe cleaner. Okay, I'm approaching my root, which I didn't twist too tightly, but that's okay. This is starting to come loose, so I'll see if I can move it down. Okay, we're now at the root, so we're just going to flip this over and secure the pipe cleaner. And there you have it. So 
now that I have those two locks done, I'm going to twist the rest of my hair off camera and then come back and show you the finished result. I plan to leave these in for a few days and then take the style down. The good thing about the lock curls is that you can just wear your hair curly and straight down or you can put it up in a ponytail. You can do so many things once your locks are curled. Lock curls off camera. But here is one that I'll do on camera. Like with any style, practice makes perfect. And I found a little bit of a trick for this style. This was another lock that I intertwined. Okay, now that it's twisted have my pipe cleaner set up. What I do is wrap the lock around right there. And I leave a little bit of the end on the pipe cleaner and bring it towards the front. So wrap it around the pipe cleaner towards the other side. Usually I curl my hair using lock knots, but I thought why not try something different and try the pipe cleaner so I can get a more uniform curl. There's my root. So I just twist it a little bit more and then take the pipe cleaner and fold it over the other side and press it down. So it's a little, it's a little bit better than the other ones that I started with. So these are my curls using pipe cleaners. For those of you that are watching the video, please share this video with your friends that have locks. And let me know when you plan on using this style, this lock style, for your next event in the comments section below. Until next time, bye for now.